Hey divas, this is Anna coming to you with a swap and um, yay, super excited. So um, I did a swap with Gloria um, and her YouTube information will be below. You totally got to check her out. She is like the layout and card diva. And um, so I had reached out to her. She's been super sweet and um, always leaves super sweet comments and I, I like her style so I reached out to her and said hey let's do a swap so super excited she said yes and um, we decided to do two cards and like her video I seen she did three well so did I because <laughs> once you get sometimes when you get started your mojo is just like all over the place so um, I went ahead and made three cards for her so let's get the party started Okay, so um, the only thing we had was that one card had to be an interactive card. And so it didn't matter, we didn't have a theme, a style, colors, nothing. We just wanted to let each other do what we do. It makes a lot less stress anyways. Okay, so let me show you what I did first. I so love it, love it. Okay, here's card number one. And this is a crisscross card. And this is, of course, Little Miss Magnolia. And I colored her with my Crayola pencils and my Mineral Spirits. And love it. And I put some stickles on her wings and on her little flower. I gave her little pearl earrings. And um, and I did her hair. It came out really pretty with the pencils. I love it. And um, this right here is a Cherry Lynn dye. Love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. And for you ladies that own these and that did not know, or I'm just late to the bus, but if you use wax paper, <laughs> it makes a world of difference if you put the wax paper when you're using these dyes because they're so intricate and um, they come out and fall out so easy. So just to let you ladies know, I love it. And um, so, and then this piece right here this right here is the inside of this so there's like a hollow little circle right here and that's because this piece comes out so it's like a smaller little doily from the inside uber cute right and then those right there are i am roses well actually i'm sorry this right here is just a paper flower that i had in my stash this is i am roses this is i am roses and then this cute little crocheted flowers from michael's and that's michael's prima bling bam and then some more here. Yeah, I busted a pack doing this. And then I just put some little um, trim here on the edges. And then this is the card. And they're blank. I'm not going to write in them because they're for her to re-gift out um, or keep them. It's up to her, but I wanted to leave it open for her to do. So I made it to where it's flushed. So, so you probably can barely tell. Okay, so that's just the back. And of course, when you make these crisscross cards, you want to make sure it's double-sided paper. And I'm also going to um, I'm gonna look for the video. I tried looking for it, but it's one of um, Lovely Scrappin'. She has phenomenal tutorials, and she shows how to make this, this card. So I'll put her info also below. And um, she's super fabby. So that's how I made... That's where I got the idea for the crisscross card. Okay, so this is card one. And I couldn't help but to make another crisscross card too. And this is like one of my favorite digi images. And um, this is for um, um, Saturated Canary, I believe is the name. Images are uber, just uber, uber. And of course I used my colored pencils. And then I used um, my liquid pearls in her hair. I sporadically put it through her hair. And she originally has like a little flower in her hair, but I covered it with this little pearl. Stinking cute, right? And then I put some stickles on her little bracelets. Of course, you're not going to be able to... Oh, bam, there you go. And then there's some stickles on her ring, too. And then I put some little pearl there. And then I just put some more I Am Roses yumminess. And um, these right here, they're from I Am Roses. They, they're yellow in the middle. So all I did was paint. I painted pink in the middle, and then I put stickles on top. No, I didn't put stickles. I put glitter. That's right. While the paint was still wet, I just tipped on the glitter. And those are some cherry blossoms. Super cute! And then this right here is a doily that I got from the paper bag lady on Etsy. Love it. And this is another Cherry Lynn dye, this butterfly. Isn't it super fab? Oh my gosh. Heard it. And then a buckle with a flat back. And then what I did here is under here, um, I 
cut um, use my edge punch Martha Stewart one and then I just cut it out and I lined it so it's lined all the way through here and through here and then I just put some really tiny thin lace um, on top and that was that okay and then this is just another insert okay there we go and then this is just the back oh and there's my little thingy so what she could do is she could easily um take this off just be really careful how you take it off and then recycle that out it doesn't have to have my information i just put that on there and the other one um i haven't put the other one on there yet in fact i don't need to do that she'll know <laughs> so that's card number two and then this is my interactive card i don't know are those considered interactive cards i don't know I thought they were regular cards. <laughs> so I went ahead and, okay, this is my interactive card. Okay. Isn't that Uber? Oh my gosh. I wanted to switch it up because I, I'm, I, you know, it's really easy to shift into shabby sheet colors because it's just beautiful. So I wanted to switch it up and use darker colors. So this right here, this chipboard piece, I painted all in black and it's a frame. And then these wings right here, what I did is a reverse um, crackle. I used the creamy white underneath and then I used the crackle and then I put the black paint over instead of doing the black underneath. Okay. And then these chipboard pieces I got from Elizabeth. Hey girlfriend. And she's Miss Bitty Bomb Bomb. And then this right here is an MFT die, the flourish. And then this right here, we call it, we already know, it's Tim Holtz. And then his ticket. And then I put glossy accents and I filled it up top. Put a couple little pearls here. And then um, I used my flower punch, Martha Stewart. And another flower punch in here. And I had these three right here, flat back pearls. I just stuck stickles on top of it. Here's another little flower. I can't even remember where I got it from. And then some little I Am Roses rosebuds and a little sweetheart flower. Right here is some little jute, I guess you could say. And then this little carnation came from Wild Orchid Crafts and it's sitting on top of I Am Rose's curly flowers. <laughs> I just used a little of everything, didn't I? And then right here is um, some really beautiful green lace that I purchased from Jewels at the Jewel Box a long time ago, like last year. And it's really wide, it goes all the way across here. And I layered it one, two, three times with um, uh, the reverse side of papers. And I just did another little cluster right here. And then there is a doily back here. You can only see bits and pieces, but it's half. It goes this way, so you can see the other half down here. Oh, and beneath here, there is a key. Okay. And then what this is, is it's an easel. Oops, sorry ladies. It's an easel stick pin card. Yay. Let me push this down a little bit. There we go. So see, ladies, isn't that super stinking cute? And yes, this was, this idea was from Lovely Scrappin' herself. And um, I saved her tutorial, it's phenomenal. And if I can find it, I'll push that one down. I'll place that one down below too. It's kind of hard to find some of the older vids now. I really had to look and I didn't think I saved it. But, oh wait, I did, I saved it this time. So it won't be hard to find. Okay, anyways, I'm like the babble queen. And the only thing I did different on hers is um, I added an extra cardstock right here because this is really top heavy and this was already bulging out. So I added another piece of the cardstock there too. So you see when it goes like this, and then when you close it flat, the way she shows you how to do it, you have a quarter of an inch little gusset right here so that the stick pins, you know, everything is flush. Pretty ingenious of her, right? And then I just put a little thing for writing. And then I did some Martha Stewart edge punching and I put them on the sides. And then those are the stick pins I made for her, matching the colors that are on the card. I love the little angel wings, they're super duper cute. Okay, so those are the stick pin cards, and then this is the easel card, the stick pin easel card, I should say. <laughs> Isn't that super fun? I loved it. I loved it. And so I have to ship this off to her. I was supposed to do it this Saturday. So sorry, Gloria. I have my, it, everything is ready in the box to go with some extra goodies, of course, and I'm going to take it to work with me, and I'll take it to the post office. So it'll ship out first thing Monday. 
All right, ladies, so I just wanted to show you really quick the cards I made and um, for my friend Gloria, and I hope she loves them because I love the cards she made, ladies. Oh my gosh. They are stinking beautiful. And if you ever talk about how you're not at a certain level, like how I did, you are so beside yourself, Missy. Your cards were beyond beautiful. And I'm really excited that you decided to do this swap with me. I love it that, you know, you're able to do swaps with other people that have a different style. I think that's awesome, regardless of the level that they may be at. Because a lot of people, I think, get intimidated doing certain swaps with certain people. So you kind of seeing the same type of um, people doing swaps. So I like to change it up and because I like a lot of different styles. I honestly, if you notice, I don't have one certain theme that I do. I do a little of everything. And um, so that means that I have a wide array of A-list crafters to me. And she is one of them. I absolutely love Gloria. And um, she's really sweet. And I think that means a lot too. You have a really sweet person who's just a phenomenal crafter. So I heart a ton of you ladies, and I'm very appreciative to all my new subbies. Oh my gosh. Hey, new subbies. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I seen that I got like 20 new subs over the weekend because Leone, my passion for paper, she got her swap package for me, and I just wanted to say thank you so much, ladies, for joining my, uh, for being a subby. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoy your journey with me as I will join them with you. And I will see you ladies soon. Okay, bye.